Hey there YouTube and welcome back to my channel Wood and Stuff. If you're reviewing this video, I'm going to assume that you're also frustrated with your Toro Time Cutter SW4200 not starting up reliably and you're probably getting yelled at by the wife or maybe I'm just the only one getting yelled at by my wife to go mow. Anyway, if you're suffering with this issue, I might be able to help you out because my Toro was constantly not starting on the first, the second, or the third attempt trying to turn that damn key in the ignition. Instead of a roaring engine, I get clicking. The engine just wouldn't turn over. In fact, I had a local company come look at the problem. They found the problem, but they wanted to charge me $350 to fix it. No freaking way was I going to pay that. What could possibly cost $350? It was the starter, the freaking starter. Now that the tech told me what I needed to buy, I went to Amazon per usual found a replacement and it was only 60 bucks now all i had to do was make the time and actually install it and at the end of it i ended up saving 290 freaking dollars now that we know what the problem is let me show you how to install a starter on your mower and save you potentially 290 dollars too let's get started okay before performing any maintenance or repair ensure the following has been done to the lawnmower first power it off. Ensure that the engine is cool and that the spark plug wire has been disconnected to prevent any accidental starting. Next, you want to push the seat forward so you can gain access to the battery. Once you have access, you want to go ahead and disconnect the black cable, which is the negative cable from the terminal, to ensure you don't have any more power to the lawnmower. Next, we're going to remove the engine cover. You're going to do this in three steps. The first thing you're going to do is locate and unscrew four screws that are located on the front and the back of the cover itself. Next, you're going to unscrew an additional three screws that you're going to find once you remove the air filter cover. Lastly, you're going to remove the fuel pump by removing the two bolts that are holding it in place. Once all that has been removed, now you can go ahead and lift the cover right off of the engine itself and place that to the side. Next, we're going to remove the starter itself and it's located on the side of the engine and it has two bolts that hold it in place. So you want to start by removing those two bolts. Once the bolts have been removed, you want to lift the starter out carefully because it's still connected to a cable. You want to disconnect that cable from the starter. Now it's time to install your new starter. You're going to start by reattaching the cable that you took off from the old starter back to the bolt that's located at the bottom of the new starter. Go ahead and put that nut on. You want to tighten it, but don't over tighten it. Then go ahead and put the starter into place insert the bolts carefully find the hole for the bolts and hand thread the bolts into place once you got it pretty good go ahead and get your ratchet and tighten that sucker down until it's nice and secure once you've secured the starter into place we'll get on to the next step let's go now that your new starter is installed now we want to go ahead and get your lawnmower put back together so you get to mowing. You want to start by replacing your engine cover. Now you're going to do that by replacing the four screws that you previously removed from the sides of the cover. Then you want to replace the three screws that you previously removed from under the air filter. Next, you want to place the air filter cover back in place and latch it down. Lastly, you want to reinstall the fuel pump by reconnecting it with the two bolts that you removed from it previously. Okay, nice job. Now you've installed the starter. Now you're ready to power things back up and get this lawnmower going before your wife kicks your butt. So you want to start by reinstalling the spark plug cable to the spark plug. Next, you want to reconnect the cable back to the battery. Remember this is the negative cable. It'll go on the negative terminal of the battery, which is the only one that's open. 
Lastly, you're going to lower down the seat, climb in it, insert your ignition key, and start that lawnmower right up. If you did everything right, you should be powered up and back to mowing the lawn before your wife kicks your ass. Hey there, YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment below. I appreciate your support. Don't forget to check the description for additional resources. Stay tuned for our next video. Take care, stay curious, and see you soon.